Machines have taken the strain out of every aspect of life, so it was inevitable that gardening would get the mechanised treatment. In 1830, Edwin Budding was working in a mill, watching a machine cut the nap off cotton. Which was the inspiration for this, the lawnmower, which cuts grass in exactly the same way as the machine cut nap off cotton in the mill. The lawnmower was a revolutionary leap by Budding, especially when you consider what came before it. Before the lawnmower, this is how they used to cut the grass with scythes. And you had to be fully grown to use the scythe because these things were a precision tool. It had to fit exactly your height and stance. And people used to adjust things by putting little wedges under the shoes so they, they would be the right height for the particular tool they were using. It's ingenious and simple. Lawns had always been a status symbol for the landed gentry, who would have to employ armies of men with scythes to keep the grass in order. Now we've got a bigger mower here, and obviously it takes a bit more manoeuvring, so we need a bit of motive power. And we've got our own motive power with our very own horsepower. It's the same principle, but I'm doing half as much work. There's a tiny disadvantage with our horsepower in that the horse tends to leave horseshoe-shaped indentations in our freshly mown lawn. So an ingenious method was, was invented to spread the load of the horse across the grass. And that's those little booties here. Let's see if they work. Come on, Dan. Come on. Up. Up. And they just pop on like a little slipper. There we are. Fabulous fit, sir. Marvellous. Horse drawn was soon replaced by horse power as the lawnmower evolved. But the design of these machines was still basically the same as Budding's lawnmower 150 years before. 